A law meant to help the disabled is causing some problems for game officers. Some people are taking advantage of the special opportunities Oregon gives to its disabled hunters. K2's Grandma Comey joins us with a two exclusive now on some people who cheat the system by saying they're too hurt to hunt without special privileges. Steve, Natalie, game officers call it the biggest issue that they must deal with each hunting season. People taking advantage of an Oregon law that allows disabled people special opportunities to harvest big game. It's the middle of Oregon's elk hunting season. A truck stops on a forest road. A man steps out and takes aim. But it's not an elk. It's a decoy. It's part of a routine that state game officers use to make sure hunters have licenses and tags. Game warden Luke Schwartz discovers that this man has a permanent disabilities permit, or a PDP. Well, mine is unable to walk. That fits the closest category that they had to fill out. My doctor filled out. So I just take it real easy, and I got my hunting friends. But the man also has trouble. You see, by law, he's required to use a cane or a crutch. So you're saying that you're disabled because you can't walk, or you're saying you're disabled because you can't breathe? It's, it's, it's both uh, type of things. My back and my legs and my lungs. We'll come back to this scene in a moment. First, disability once meant people confined to wheelchairs. In 1999, Oregon expanded its rules for the permanent disabilities permit to include lung disease, cardiac condition, unable to hold a firearm, visual impairment, or unable to walk without a cane, crutch, or brace. Applications for the PDP have exploded. 600 permits were issued in 1999. By 2002, the number had grown to 12,000. And this past May, the number reached 18,200. Why so many? There's no doubt. It's the ability to harvest a cow or a doe that has caused the, um, the numbers to grow. The permit allows a person to shoot from inside his vehicle. Other people are allowed to assist him in the hunt. And critically, it allows a hunter to harvest an elk or deer of either sex. That's something that most hunters can't do. According to Sergeant Brent Seaholm, while most PDP hunters play by the rules, enforcement problems are on the rise. For example, this man is also unable to walk without a cane or a crutch, but he moves pretty well through the woods. If you're going to give that tag to people that's blown their knee out, then I'm damn sure qualified. I don't think you qualify for what the intention or how, how the definition is defined, meaning permanently unable to walk without the assistance of one of those devices. This man shot two cow elk for a disabled hunter who's sitting nearby. You understand that you're not permitted to do the shooting. This is a classic case uh, uh, of abuse of, of a disabled tag because the uh, gentleman that's with him didn't even shoot a gun. There's only one gun among them. With PDP hunters, it we just see tag the number of permits continue to expand every year. Herman Biederbach is a wildlife biologist and he is worried. He says thousands of PDP hunters now regularly harvest does or cow elk. He adds that PDP success has forced biologists to limit other types of hunting. For example, bow hunting, muzzleload hunting, and even youth hunting. I'm going to have to do whatever it takes to keep our elk populations at or near our management goal. Even if that means sacrificing other opportunities from other hunting groups. Right. For its part, Oregon's Wildlife Agency has conducted public meetings on the issue the past two years. It has recommended changing parts of the disability program. However, the antlerless hunting opportunity will remain. It's an accommodation to assist them in having um, a reasonable chance to harvest an animal. But is it fair? That is for the commission to decide, and so far they have agreed that that is appropriate. Back in the woods, Officer Schwartz has made a decision about this man's opportunity. So she's throwing me out a citation. Pending further investigation, he takes the man's PDP card and gives him a ticket. The man is not happy. I can walk, but I can't walk from here around that corner. Or I'd be four links to that truck and I'm done. It is important to note that state game officers say most hunters, disabled or not, play by the rules. And tomorrow night at 5, we visit with a man who says the PDP has made all the difference in his enjoyment during Oregon's hunting seasons. I'm Grant McComey, K2 News. As Grant said, too hurt to hunt continues tomorrow when we meet a disabled man who says the special permit is the only one he can go, only way he can go hunting, and says people need to be honest about it. Join us at 6 or 5.30 right here on K2 tomorrow. You can't, but I don't, there's not a 100% way of policing any of this. I just hope that people are conscious enough about it.
530 right here on K2 tomorrow.